Hey, good evening to everyone. Good evening, good evening. Hope everyone is doing well. Good evening to everyone. Glad to have everyone join in this evening. Um, hope that you're, hey there, Minister Archie. Hope that everyone is doing well tonight. Excuse me, my sinuses are bothering me just a tad. Uh, but I hope everyone is doing well uh, this evening. You know, it is our custom uh, that you uh, that we check in. So if you'd be so kind as to let me know uh, where you're joining in from, what city, what state uh, we're joining in from. So we get uh, this wonderful tool of Periscope that brings us all together. Uh, where is everyone uh, connecting with us from, if you don't mind uh, putting that on? I'm grateful for everyone who is joining us uh, this evening. Hope everyone is well. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, I hope everyone is well. If you will let us know where you're joining in from, that would really be great. Uh, thank you very much. California is on in Michigan and Michigan again. And uh, hey there, uh, my childhood friend. Hope everyone is well today. Uh, if you would invite some followers, I have something to tell you today. I think it's kind of interesting. Uh, I, I guess that's the west side of Detroit. You'd have to know. Uh, you'd have to know Detroit. We just talk about sides. So thank you. I want you to invite uh, some people. I think I have something uh, good to share this evening, uh, this Monday evening. Excuse me. I hope everyone is doing well. So uh, I'll get right to it. Hey, uh, Christy from Atlanta. Atlanta. Got to love the ATL. Hey, so uh, I want to share something with you. I think my mom is on tonight. This is great. You know, I had to get mom connected to Periscope. So thanks, mom, uh, for being on this evening. And thanks, Pastor uh, Andrea, for being on. So I want I want to get right to it. I want to get right to it. I was going to talk about something uh, totally different tonight because today is the first day of summer and I was going to share with us some tips about summer and how to have a great summer. Uh, but I was I was uh, introduced to something today, um, maybe within the last couple of hours that changed my train of thought. And for the next few moments, I want to motivate you uh, from the theme of more than a headline. You notice that uh, there are a lot of headlines that are in uh, the news these days as they have always been headlines. And so uh, my concern about a headline, a headline is like uh, a tidbit to uh, grab your attention to read the story. Uh, it's a tidbit to grab your attention, just kind of like a sound bite or just a word bite. Hey there, uh, Sister Davidson. Uh, it's just a, a sound bite or a tidbit to grab your attention to read the full story. But here, here are some of the dangers uh, about headlines. Headlines will tell you about the story, uh, but will not tell you the full story. A headline uh, may tell you about the main people who are involved, but will not necessarily uh, tell you the actuality uh, of those who are involved. And so if we're not careful, we'll let people uh, surmise us and summarize uh, our life uh, into a headline and not uh, the full story. So if we think about this, uh, we think, and I'm, I'm not going to be that long tonight, but I, I, I hope it is, it is uh, uh, poignant and, and powerful all at the same time. So, so it is that when we have these headlines as it relates to uh, stories, maybe in newspaper articles or what have you, uh, it, it, it is to grab your attention, uh, hoping that you will read the full story. And so when we read the story, we find out more. And, and, and it's interesting because we draw conclusions, but we draw conclusions based on the story that we read based on the angle in which it was written. Catch me, because if we read the story, but the story was written with a skewed angle, then we still haven't gotten the essence of the story. And here is the thing about how this relates to you. This relates to you because people would be 
fooled if they just summarized you or surmised you from the headline that is in your life right now. And they did not take the time to get to know your full story. They, they, they don't know uh, what you had to go through to get to where you are today. And even if you have not gotten to ultimately where God is taking you, you are still further along than where you were. So we cannot let other people just uh, surmise us and contain us uh, with this headline of sorts, if I could say it uh, that way. Because the headline really is just an invitation for people to read the whole story and to get to know us. But oftentimes people are content with the headline and they'll run and form their own story based off of a headline, not even knowing the main idea and not even knowing the supporting details, not knowing the context of which the story is being written. And so I submit to you this evening uh, that you probably already know this, but I just wanted to remind you, you are more than a headline. You are more than a headline. You have a full story. And if I could give, if I could just give you Bible, hey there, uh, Venice, if I could just give you some Bible, I will. If you ever read the story of Ruth, you will understand that, that Ruth's mother-in-law, Naomi, had a conversation with Ruth and Orpah. And she said, look, there was nothing more that I could do for you. So uh, you've been good to me. You were good to my husband. You were good to my sons as wives. But there was nothing else that I have to give you. So go back home. You're still young enough. You have the rest of your life ahead of you. And they had a decision to make. They had a decision. And the decision that they had to make was, is that they could base the rest of their lives off of Naomi's current headline in her life, or they could make a decision for the rest of their lives based off of what they knew of Naomi's story. Isn't it interesting? Because Orpah, one of the daughters-in-law, she decided, you know, Naomi, you're right. I thank you. I love you. Thank you for giving me this out. Uh, and holla at your girl, I'll see you. And Ruth decided, she said, hold on, I know what your current headline is, but I know, mother-in-law, that you are more than a headline. So what I'm going to do is, is that where you go is where I'm going to go. And, and who you hang out with is who I'm going to hang out with. And where you worship is where I'm going to worship. And your God is going to be my God. And where you die is where I'm going to die. Because I recognize that I am better off with you with your current headline than I am without you by myself. And so what I wanted to share with you is that people might underestimate you, people might shortchange you, people might try to contain you, but let's make sure that everyone is in their proper position. And the, the position, you here is the whole point of tonight's scope. Never empower the reader to rewrite your story. Let me say it again. Never empower the reader to rewrite your story. The reader is never empowered to write, rewrite, or to edit any part of your story. They are only invited to read what is there. And if they cannot handle your truth, then they can put your story down. But I for sure won't let you sum me up in my headline, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent at this point. Never empower the reader to rewrite your story. I'll leave that to God because the Bible says uh, that he is the author and the finisher of my faith. And the thing I love about that is, is that him being the author, he's not just the author, but he is the editor and the publisher of my faith, which means then if at any point he doesn't like the headline that I am currently in because he has the ink pen, he is empowered to edit my story. It's called forgiveness. It's called repentance. It's called a second chance for a missed opportunity. He is empowered to rewrite my story. And even if he is responsible 
for the headline that I'm currently in because sometimes it's not a bad thing even if he is responsible for me being where I am, even if where I am in my current headline is not the greatest and, and, and I would like for him to change it sooner than later because he is the author, the editor, and the publisher, I know that when he is finished with my story, everyone's going to know that I'm more than a headline. And that is the truth for you, that your story is still being written. God still has the ink pen, the pencil, the Sharpie marker, the typewriter, the laptop, whatever it is that he uses to write our story. And he is writing and editing our story. And he's not editing it because he's made mistakes. He edits it because even when we make mistakes, because he was the author, I go back to something that I said earlier, there was a particular intent or a particular angle that he wanted to use for our story. So his angle was that we would be the head and not the tail. Although our current headline might say we're the tail and not the head. His angle is that we would be above only and not beneath. Even though our headline might say we're beneath and not above. But I love it because the author's intent is always gonna come to pass. And all you have to do is just keep yourself available and not be bothered by the readers and just know that the only thing that they're empowered to do is read your story. They can't retell it because if they retell it or they rewrite it, then it's not your story. And they don't have the power to do that because God didn't give them the utility. They're not the author. They're not the editor. They're not the publisher. And so I want you to be empowered tonight. I want you to be encouraged tonight to know that you are more than a headline. So I know I talked about other people, but I really wanted to talk about you. And if I could sum it up in one sentence, I'll go old school. I just wanted to remind you on this first day of a new season that God is not through blessing you. Hey, thank you so much for joining uh, Monday's Motivational Message tonight. Uh, I hope that this uh, has inspired you in some way. Uh, although it was brief, I pray that it was the bomb. Uh, hey, I want you to connect uh, with us on social media. Uh, connect with me on Twitter uh, at Pastor Na, N-A-H. Connect with me uh, on Instagram at Pastor Na, N-A-H. Uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Nelson A. Henry, uh, with no spaces in between, Nelson A. Henry uh, on YouTube, and there's more inspiration on there. Uh, thank you from wherever you are joining from, from the West Coast to the East Coast to the Southeast and everyone in between. Thank you for taking time out of your, uh, out of your busy lives uh, for me to remind you uh, or for me to reveal to you that you are more than a headline. Remember uh, to walk by faith and look good doing it. Be blessed.